Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part six of my Let's Platinum Bioshock Infinite series. Um, if you want to know what's going on, please uh, look at video one. I uh, do a full explanation at the beginning of that video uh, about what we're doing here. We're getting the platinum for this game in one single playthrough. Uh, the videos, of course, are all structured. Um, they are all, I know where I'm going. It's all been rehearsed, so there's no running around. So they're going to be uh, nice and easy to follow. Uh, so we are in the Hall of Heroes, um, and eventually in this video we're going to be leading to Finkton Docks. So we do have a lot to cover. We're going to cover the whole of the Hall of Heroes, uh, getting the Shock Jockey uh, vigor, and then um, running back to power up that gondola from the previous episode. So there's a lot to do, lots of fighting. It's, we're getting into the action now. Um, so first up here, first up here is a, a Voxophone. You can see there I'm getting a silver eagles from picking box phones up. Uh, that is because of um, one of the gear pieces I'm wearing. Uh, it all helps, so anything that increases uh, silver at this point is good. Here are some guys. Uh, I'm still working on rocket launcher, so <laughs> this is uh, not very subtle at all. But there you go. Um, I'm keeping hold of it. I'm out of ammo. Um, doesn't bother me, I'm going to keep hold of it and uh, just pick some more later up. Uh, I do think that you get more ammo for the weapon that you're holding, so uh, that's uh, that's why I'm keeping hold of it. I want to be getting rid of the rocket launcher eventually because I don't really like it. Um, it's too random and enemies can... It, it, you miss a lot with it and it's just kind of useless, especially from distance. It is powerful um, and good against, let's say, uh, Patriots, but... There are just quicker and easier ways to deal with enemies. Uh, so this place is a trap. This uh, this little bit's a trap. We're going to go and uh, wait for the trap because we know it's coming. There's four guys going to run out this door at the side here. Uh, we take care of them pretty quickly with a shotgun here. I would uh, advise you to do the same. You're going to hit them with the um, Brooking, Booking Bronco Vigor. Couldn't think of the name then. And then we're just going to shoot them down with a shotgun because I still need kills with a shotgun so this works out perfectly. Uh, I'm going to pick the rocket launcher on the way up, uh, way out as well, I think, if I remember rightly, when I get a new one. Um, that's going to be the uh, first trophy I get out of quite a few trophies in this episode, actually. It's going to be a Master of Pyro Pyrotechnics for getting 20 kills with the RPG. Uh, so I do get rid of that in this uh, in this mission, which is good, or this section of the game. Uh, we're also going to get Shock Tactics, which is finding uh, for finding the Shock Jockey uh, bigger. Uh, I'm going to show you the Hazard Pay. A uh, little farm where you can get that out of the way. Um, that's straight after picking up um, Shock Jockey. There's some water with two guys. We're just going to re restart checkpoint there and uh, get those kills done. So we don't have to worry about those. Um, also, I get uh, Vigorous Opposition, which is for killing enemies uh, while under the influ influence of a Vigor. Or they kill an enemy while under the influence of a Vigor. Uh, it's something you will get naturally. If you don't get it now, then uh, you will get it eventually. It's not nothing to worry about. Uh, there was another infusion. Uh, we're getting up there with those as well now. Uh, nice and powerful. <laughs> Shouldn't be having much in the way of problems uh, with regards to enemies at the moment. Uh, it's fairly straightforward now. Um, and we are... We are overpowered. And compared to what you would be on the PS3, we are pretty overpowered at this point. Uh, this pe this part now, there's two ways we're going to go. We're going to go right, left. Uh, right, left? <laughs> we're going to go right first. Uh, basically because I'm right-handed and I always choose right first. That is the only reason. Um, yeah, there's uh, two little staff rooms in each side of these. There's one here. Employees, employees only. Uh, there's a piece of gear in each side. Obviously, gear is not needed for trophies, but it is going to help us along the way. Um, and again, this will be random. I'm sure I can hear someone. Oh no, it was because she was uh, ducking down. I was wondering what she was doing. Um, yes, gear is random. You may not get this here, which reloads the weapon when you jump up a skyline. But, I mean, I'm not going to use that anyway, so who cares? Hopefully you get something better. Um, coins in the cushion. Another trophy I will be getting for uh, looting crates. Um, you should be getting that or coming up on that soon as well. Uh, and then first class ticket, which is a story trophy at the end of this uh, this video as we leave. Um, also, we will halfway halfway get kitted out, which is for fully upgrading a vigor and a weapon. 
uh, will f I will fully upgrade uh, Vigor. Obviously, it's up to you whether you do as well. I fully upgrade uh, Booking Bronco, um, which is really good. Um, it's probably one of the best uh, Vigors, so it's definitely worth doing. Uh, we'll also be starting Strange Bedfellows, which is for um, getting kills with something that's put, been pulled through a tear, be it a, um, a, a turret or a... Um, a Patriot or something like that. There's quite a few things that's going to happen Like We're going to introduce the tears and uh, they're going to come into play and they are really helpful. Always be aware of where the tears are. Try saying that fast. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this bit, this, these are just sort of um, traps again. We've been, uh, been hunted down. There's nothing difficult in here really. If you stay at this back end where they all come from, uh, opposite where they all come from, sorry, then you shouldn't have much in the way of problems. Uh, there is going to be one of the crow guys. Uh, it's not one of the ones with the, the kind of casket on his back or the uh, box on his back. Um, where is he? Yeah, I'm switching to rocket wing. I need to get these kills out of the way because I want to get rid of this thing. Um, you can improve the splash damage on it, but it's just not worth it. Uh, I don't think so anyway. I don't use it. Uh, he got me out of nowhere. I didn't, was not expecting him. I had switched my vigor <laughs> by accident, so now I've got to try and kill this guy. Uh, when they're under the influence, they don't take half as much damage. It's uh, it's quite a while. So wait for that, and then uh, the crow guy is going to appear now. I think. I think Elizabeth actually marks this one. Yes, she does. Best way to deal with these is a uh, good old bucking bronco. He's going to disappear. That's annoying. <laughs> He disappeared then. And I keep ducking, it's because I'm playing multiple games at the same time. Um, and run is not circle in this game, whereas it is in Dark Souls, which is what I'm playing at the same time as this. Um, so that's why I keep doing that, because I'm trying to run and I'm pressing circle. Uh, so yeah, if you're wondering why I'm ducking, that is why uh, I keep forgetting. Um, so that's this room clear, we're free to move on to the other side now. I'm going to go and pick up uh, another piece of gear. And uh, do pretty much the same thing. Uh, the enemies are slightly tougher. I think there's fewer of the smaller ones, but there is one of the the pyrotechnic guys in there. But we can just um, possess him, and he'll do some work for us. And then he'll eventually he will explode. So there will usually be enemies here as well when you come back. We're just gonna get some nice headshots here. There we go. Definitely my favourite weapon in the game. Um, just for the amount of accuracy, how accurate it is and how powerful it is, it is really just pretty damn good. There's no reason to use any other weapon, I don't think. It's good at short range, whereas a sniper rifle isn't uh, particularly. Um, it's fast, it's really accurate, and there's no recoil, hardly any recoil. Um, is this where the guy... No, it was in the previous one, wasn't it, with the guy... Uh, we see there's literally no recoil. Here's another piece of gear, some more carbine. So the carbine is going to be the weapon I fully upgrade. Again, that is up to you which one you choose. Make sure to grab this silver. And there is a lockpick down here, so make sure to grab that. Uh, we are getting up there with lockpicks. Got nine now. We're going to be opening safes up. Uh, you may remember a safe from the, the previous episode that we didn't open. Uh, we are going to go back and uh, open that up. See, that was a short range from the hip, and it's just useful there as well. Um, great weapon. So we're going to go into this place now. This is a, a copy of the other place, really, apart from it's snowy this time. Uh, but yeah, stay at this back end here again. The statue is probably the best. They will come from the left-hand side. But uh, you can get more cover at the back here, at the side here, should I say. Not that it's particularly difficult at all, this at all, at all, at all. Um, this fight, there's a, uh, yeah, that, see what I mean? That, I mean, that went through him. I'm sure that went through him. Looking at that now in the replay, um, that went through him. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't like the rocket launcher. So I'm going to try and get rid of it as soon as possible keep possessing this guy, he's going to do some work. He was, he's also helping towards uh, vigorous opposition at this point because he's killing people. 
Oh yeah, it hit, did it hit them? I don't even know if it hit them. I think it's good here. Again, I think I'm going to duck here. Yeah, I'm trying to, yeah. <laughs> trying to run. Wrong button. Um, is he going to have enough? Yes, here he goes. So when you see that, run away. Try not to run to the rocks. And then he's going to blow himself up. Kamikaze style. Which is fine by me. I don't have to bother with him anymore. Always have a look around. There's always stuff lying around. I never claimed to be no hero. And what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker D. Witt you try to erase. Uh, machine gun What's still need to work on that one as well with regards to weapons. But there are more uh, pressing matters at this point. Uh, the machine gun is going to be a game I use. A uh, game. Uh, a weapon I use late game. So I'm not particularly bothered about picking those up at the moment. Just looking for RPG ammo at the now. Uh, I think I have two kills left uh, with the RPG. Weirdly, I there's two guys in a minute once we uh, we get out here uh, and run back to the central part. Two guys, and I uh, I only kill one with an RPG and the other I don't know why. No, not this bit here. It's after this. Sorry. So yeah. I think it's because I'm low on ammo. We've got three left. We are getting pretty low. So yeah, if you are really low on ammo, um, don't feel like you need to keep the same weapon. Uh, they are later in the game. They're all the way through. All weapons are. Um, so you will pick it up later Later on. Uh, don't feel like you need to hold on to it. Yeah. <laughs> they uh, came out of nowhere then. Even though I knew they were coming. Yeah, I should, yeah, it was three more, that's right. Um, I should have killed that last one, that one as well, with the RPG, and I would have been done. Now I've got to try and kill someone from a distance later on. I could have picked up the machine gun at this point, um, had I have killed that other guy and been done with it. But never mind, there's plenty more enemies coming up, especially <laughs> on the way out of this place. Well, as we leave this place, um, once we get back outside... Uh, all hell starts to break loose. So there is going to be some sort of exposition coming up. A bit of story uh, when we get to this door, but I'm going to skip it. Obviously you will be able to watch it um, when you're playing. There's not much point we are uh, watching it now. This uh, video is long enough as it is. Almost an hour. The longest video by far but I thought it was just easier to put them together um, the two areas it kind of made sense it's all one sort of escape thing box of phone here don't forget that to those who loved me, and then we're really getting the uh, three scopes in quick succession souls. they're all next to each other no pain, I would deny them. after this no betrayal, I would not but first we've got to do a fight and when I had or I missed something in there guess not me. Plenty of money here. I know that's some sort of a donation, but we need it more. Was it a wish? So we're going to get introduced to tears now. We've been kind of introduced to them, um, but now we actually get to use them, and they are really, really helpful. For, well, for a start, they <laughs> enable us to get over this gate, which we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. Uh, and then there's going to be a, a turret below us. You can choose. It, I think it kind of gives you an option. Uh, choose the high, the high up uh, to give you um, extra advantage, but it doesn't really because you'd just be hanging above the enemies and they just kill you. Uh, it probably would be on a lower level. Uh, difficulty level but not on this one so yeah this is kind of an intro you can't jump off this is what I'm looking at at this point you can't jump off here you have to wait for these uh, while it sort of introduces tears so you can sort of jump around the level if you need to but it's just better to get the turret uh, and then kind of help it because they can kill turrets there is another turret over there that you can possess it from here uh, there is a rocket launcher guy. I think he's the one fighting the turret now. Uh, I'm trying to get this last kill with the RPG here. There we go. Done. That can go away. 
There's a sniper, a sniper rifle to the left. Uh, that's what you want to be using here. And then we can start working on kills with that, which is a lot more fun than the uh, RPG. So there he is. These guys are tough. You need to take these guys down as well because they can uh, make short work of you, especially at close range. There are a few close range ones later on. So that is the, uh, the sniper rifle. It is the, probably the most satisfying weapon uh, when it comes to headshots at least. So you'll see me with the sniper rifle. I'll always try and go for a headshot if I can. Just so we get that lovely explosion. They're just lining up for me today. Uh, and I think, no, there's one more. There's always seems to be one that kind of waits below you. There he is. No point wasting the, uh, a scope on him because he's nearly dead anyway. Get him with a rifle. I think there's some more ammo. Yes, I've run back. There is some more ammo to the right as well. Uh, I'm not sure what, what is that machine gun. So if you need anything there as well. We will be back here very shortly. Uh, we're just beginning, going to be going to try and get Shock Jockey, which is in this next building. Uh, and then we'll come back out here for a three-phase fight. Um, which is why you see me. Uh, I will drop the... Uh, I'm going to drop the uh, sniper rifle in a minute. I'm just checking out everybody's stash. Um, is there an RPG here? Don't use that again. That is a thingy, so we don't know. No, it's the machine gun, I believe. No, there's an RPG. That's right. Um, I, had, I, I have finished with this, but there is a Patriot coming up, and like I said, it is good against those. Um, you're going to see it miss a lot because that's what RPGs do um, or I seem to do with them anyway it's not particularly their fault um, here is the possession for less upgrade so get this it's going to allow you to uh, possess for less I think I misspoke I think I said we're getting the booking bronco upgrade earlier on did I? I forget now but no we're getting the possession one possess for less is definitely uh, worth having you can upgrade Booking Bronco as well. It's definitely one worth doing. Uh, here are three. There's one here, there's one next to it, and there's one in the, the next room. Um, get these scopes. The one in the next room, weirdly, is actually right at the end of this video, again, in a separate place. Um, so there are instances of them appearing again, but don't rely on it. Uh, what is it? City Morns. You will see it later on as well. Obviously, you're going to get it now. So, yep, get him ready because um, there's one of those coming. It is directly ahead of us. Uh, we don't have shock shock yet, which is the best way to deal with patriots. Uh, so, I'm just going to lay some traps with uh, the um, no, not possession, devil's kiss. Possession's good against these guys as well to give you a bit of respite. Uh, it doesn't last long with them, but it, they can be quite oppressive. They'll charge you down uh, with their, their pepper gun. So if you need a break, possess them. Uh, let your shield go back up. And here we go. Let's try and uh, stay out of his way. He's got his attention on the uh, turret at first, which helps me get the three rockets in. See how quick he is? Uh, they don't, yeah, that, I mean... That was pretty close. Just let me have that one. <laughs> they do have a cog on their back. There she is with the ammo. That's going to help. Probably shouldn't have done the long run away. Uh, they do have a cog on their back, which is the best pit bit to hit for them, from them, on them. Uh, but you can't really get behind them unless you have shock jockey. It's quite difficult. Uh, but when you hit that, it's going to uh, to kill them quite easily. Here's the crank gun. The uh, Patriots drop this. They're the only enemy that do. And you won't see it anywhere else. Um, and you won't find ammo for it anywhere else. You have to pick up a new one to get more ammo for it. Uh, they are quite rare. But uh, we do need kills with it. Um, but we are going to farm kills with one in the next video. Uh, we're going to get a pair 
the current gun at the beginning of that video um, and then we're going to farm a lot of kills we're going to farm uh, probably sniper kills uh, not that that needs doing but we'll be using it anyway um, so it might be kind of a byproduct uh, the pepper gun, we're going to use that, the crank gun, we're going to get those kills done. Uh, we're going to get the skyline kills, uh, sniper rifle kills, and sniper rifle headshot from a skyline kills. <laughs> quite a lot done, all in one place, we're just going to keep reloading a checkpoint that's quite close to uh, where we get a crank gun and a sniper rifle. Um, so it's a perfect place to get those done, don't have to worry about those anymore. And you can also get the... Uh, the melee kills from a skyline done there as well. So here's the shock jockey traps. Do not touch these. They uh, really hurt. They will zap your shield down in no time at all. So now we're on to a, uh, a three stage fight. First stage is going to be uh, a bunch of normal guys. Uh, second stage has a pyro guy in with them. And then the third stage has two patriots which is actually a lot better than one Patriot because two Patriots you can just pit against each other and they damn near kill each other so it's actually <laughs> it works in our favor to have two of them so I am using the crank gun here obviously because I need the kills for it but it's the enemies are quite far away so maybe save it um, for later on it's up to you, you can try and get some kills with it now if you want. See, I'm not going to, because it does have that wind up, um, it does leave you kind of exposed. So you're going to, yeah, I'm going to get fed up with it and just kind of move on. Probably best just to pick that sniper rifle back up. If they get close, you can do it there. But uh, it's probably best just to leave it. Choose the car. Good old carbine is going to do the work. Yeah, definitely keep keep back on this one. There are med kits there, so be aware of those. They're going to help. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know where he came from, but he's there now. So there is a little bit of respite in between each wave. So uh, heal up if you need to. Get ready. They're going to come from the left hand side this time. I think they come out of the door. Yeah, the door this time, and then they drop down next time. So there is a pyro guy. Uh, be ready with possession to get him to uh, help you out. There are a bunch of guys in there, so they will hurt him a lot as well as them him killing them. You do want to make sure you don't run out of possession. There are salts around, but you don't want to run out. Uh, because you want them for the Patriots. He's going to go up again, so we need to run away. There are some more salts up here. And we're going to switch to the rifle because we're out of crank gun. And then we're going to get the two Patriots. They do jump down from the left, I believe. So we've got the one. There's one. And where's the other one? So you want to possess them. And uh, kind of let them just <laughs> duke it out. There we go. You see that red on the back there? Uh, that's the bit you want to aim for when you're alone with one. You will be able to get behind them. That was a bad shot. Um, I don't know where they're going now. They're just running off. There we go. So they're going to finish each other off. Appreciate it. Yeah, there's just one left now. Um, he's pretty weak, and he's uh, facing away from us, so we can just get rid of him quite quickly. And that is pretty much it. I think there's just the one guy left. Here he is. Let's go for a headshot. Obviously, clear up, grab all of the uh, the items that people have been dropping, and all the ammo and everything. Uh, you want to get your salts back up, all your health, everything like that. There is, he's going to run away, don't worry, we're done here. Once the Patriots have uh, have turned up, there is uh, no more. He's going to run away, we've got to chase him down. 
Uh, there is a Voxer phone and an infusion in the room to the left where they came from. We're going to be getting those in a minute once we've had a look around. There's another crank gun as well, so I will be taking that for now because there are some closer enemies coming up. But we'll be switching back to the sniper rifle uh, for the last bit as we leave because uh, there's a lot of uh, distance fighting, so it's going to come in really helpful. Uh, a lot of rocket launchers we need to get rid of, or RPG guys. So you can see the infusion there, well hidden. Even though it's flashing, it's pretty well hidden. But uh, there, make sure to grab that. Get those salts up. You shouldn't be having problems with uh, with health at this point. Uh, she's going to highlight, or Elizabeth, sorry, is going to highlight some uh, lockpicks for us there. Yeah, you shouldn't be finding yourself dying uh, a lot because of the shield. So hopefully you're using that properly. Uh, but once we have full salts, we will be switching to health then, obviously. Uh, if you are struggling with health, uh, then obviously you can upgrade your health. Uh, I just choose salts because I find the vigors more helpful. Having a lot of that uh, is more helpful than health to me. Yeah, I don't really, I really don't particularly like the crank gun. It's just too slow. I need a, a quick reaction. Uh, there's not enough bullets in it to keep it running. Um, so you're trying to do sort of burst fire with it, but it doesn't really work. So you've got to jump over this, and I'm preparing myself, make sure I've got the right button. But yeah, they will zap you. The uh, shock jockey traps will zap your shield in no time. Make short work of you. And uh, we are going to go and get shock jockey for ourselves in a moment. And then we are going to farm the um, hazard pay trophy. Now, I'm not going to show the whole process, obviously I'll show you what to do, but uh, yeah, I'll cut out me doing it. You're not done here, soldier. Eat everything that's on your plate. So he's going to give you an option here to kill him or to spare him. I personally spare him. We will see him later on if you spare him. Um, it's kind of more rewarding, let's say. So uh, spare him. Or kill him, do what you want. Doesn't really matter. It's uh, it's not important. But here we go. Here's the number five, Shock Jockey. One of the better ones. Weirdly, the the later ones are some of the ones they are really niche. The later ones, Shield is uh, is really good. Uh, the last one. But you don't use it as often as you would other ones, so you will get the trophy there, by the way. Um, yeah, so we've kind of got all the good uh, vigors at this point. Like You're going to get charge, which I don't particularly use. I don't want to be charging into enemies. I want to be keeping my distance. Uh, so here is where we're going to farm it. Two guys here. They're going to run around the corner. They're going to pop. So once they are dead, reload the checkpoint. Do the same thing. Uh, just do that five times. So this is my fifth time. We're just going to run back, uh, zap them again, and move on. So yeah, just keep restarting checkpoint, getting those kills, um, and then you'll be done with that. Don't have to worry about that at all. Probably quite an annoying trophy to have to worry about, because uh, you don't want to be looking out for oil patches and water in the middle of a firefight to try and uh, get enemies to stand in it. Uh, so yeah, it's a good one to have out the way, that one. So that's a... Uh, quickly done there. Elizabeth is standing in the way and we are going to leave this place. We can now leave. There is a... which one is here? Yes, there is a, a raven guy here, crow guy. But uh, Possession, not possession, sorry. Booking Bronco is going to help. I've got really hurt there. I must have had low health already. What hit me there? I wasn't actually looking. <laughs> there we go, finally. And then we're just going to run him down with the... Uh, the reason I'm using the machine gun is because I want to keep the ammo for the other guns. He's going to fill us all the way back up. 
And we're just going to look around, because that's what we have to do. And now it's time to leave. So you can only leave this place when you have Shock Jockey. you kind of locked in until you get it. Uh, and this is the reason why. So this is here. This will uh, refill your salt fully. So I'm just going to use it and then refill. Obviously that machine has to be there. Otherwise you could potentially just get stuck in the game if you can't find any salt anywhere. So we're leaving now. All of Heroes. We're going to run back to that gondola. Uh, obviously there's going to be some fighting along the way. Here's a mosquito. This is something you can call in. It's one of the ones we are uh, using for the um, Strange Bedfellows trophy, getting kills with, um, with the things we've pulled in through uh, from a tear. Um, it is pretty damn weak, so the enemies will kill it quite quickly, but it will be reusable. There's kind of a cooldown. There it is, it's back again. So just keep bringing it in uh, and get used to doing that as well. There's lots of places we can do this. Uh, and just get them to do the work. See, it's down already. Uh, but more than anything, they're a good distraction. The uh, enemies will get distracted and it's going to give you a chance to get some damage in. Uh, two of them will rush you. Here they are, and they are pretty tough as well. Uh, I shouldn't have gone for the ammo catch there because it might allow them to close in. Well, there you go. So the mosquito is a good way of knowing that there are, there are no enemies left as well. If it's not firing, there's no one left. See there, strange bedfellows. If it's one on one against an enemy, it will usually win. So once that's kind of stopped, you know you're clear. Uh, and then we're going to go and get a little secret area that wasn't accessible before. Here's the sniper rifle. I'm going to switch it for the machine gun uh, because we do have a bit of uh, long distance fighting coming up. Uh, and I want to be able to just sit back and uh, not have to get out in the open so much. Of course we are looking for ammo and other things at this point. This machine here, if you see these, obviously I'm going to point them out, but um, it's a, a shock jockey trap, uh, not trap, sorry, uh, switch. So if you hit it with shock jockey, it's going to open up. Uh, this is just gear up here. Um, so obviously you don't need to come up here, but there are lockpicks as well, which are more important than the gear, really. Uh, what is this one? Yeah, no, I don't need that. It is quite good, but I have something better. Don't mind me. I'm just <laughs> trying to get stuff, but you're just going to walk in the way. That's fine. There was a, a nest up here, a sniper nest, apparently. Uh, so here's a sniper. If you didn't have a sniper rifle before, from downstairs. If you used them all up. And then we're going to get the hell out of here and uh, move towards the gondola. So when you pull something in through a tear, like that mosquito, or like in a moment, we're going to pull in a... Uh, a Patriot, even when there aren't enemies around, they will stay around. So here, we're going to pull him in. You don't need to come up here, but I do it to get some of the Patriot kills. You kind of need to switch onto this rail. You could just hop along uh, and just ignore these guys if you really wanted to. But I'm doing it for the kills. Here is a rocket launcher guy, or an RPG guy. You're going to have to help the Patriot with it. If you don't, the uh, the RPG guy will more than likely win. Uh, there is another one, which is where the Patriot's going. Don't go up the stairs; the Patriot goes up because that's where he is, uh, and he can he can hurt you pretty quickly. The rocket guy in uh, a short distance. Best thing to do with them is um, I don't know why that didn't take, but uh, hit them with Booking Bronco uh, and leave them in the air. That's that. So that's all there is here. This is just sort of a midsection. There is a lockpick underneath these stairs, which is uh, probably the most important thing here. So I'm switching back and forth between weapons because I am checking all the time whether I want to keep a weapon. Um, is it worth keeping? 
a carbine with 14 or so rounds in it or do I want to pick up an RPG even though I need the kills with the carbine I don't know <laughs> obviously it is up to you just be aware that you need to get these kill uh, trophies so um, yeah prioritize weapons you haven't really had uh, got the trophies for but if you do need it because there is a fight coming up then uh, take the one with the more ammo uh, there are always later on there are always opportunities to get the weapon back You're not gonna run out of opportunity to get RPGs and things the only one that you can't get so much is the crank but there are quite a few uh, Patriots in the game so you will see them again plus we're gonna farm it if there is an opportunity to farm a weapon or you see a, an opportunity or, or just want to get rid of one uh, then do that as well feel free obviously we're gonna use this uh, Pyro guy down here, he's going to help us out again. And then we're going to get rid of him, of course. It just makes this game so much easier not having to worry about actually fighting. Uh, yes, no, what are we going with? I think he's exploding now, so I'm out of here. And kaboom. Uh, might as well get some candy floss while I'm in here. Lock pick off him as well. So we're up to 11, 11 lock picks, which is a uh, is pretty good, nice and healthy amount. We are going to open that safe that we missed earlier on. Uh, there is going to be a patriot in there. Surprise, surprise. That is uh, just before we leave. They're going to sneak one up on us. Mr. Duet, the names book. So now we're going to take the lift back down to Soldier's Field, but before that we have a Patriot. So be aware that they are there if you need more salt. Um, the way I kind of like to take care of them is with Shock Jockey. Throw some traps on the floor and try and get them to hit them. It will stun him. Uh, it does take quite a lot of salt to, to get a trap down. Um, what you want to try and do is get him to... Uh, to hit a, a shock jockey trap um, and then you can run around and get him would you want to try and hit that thing on his back you, you obviously do da damage when hitting him up front but uh, shock jockey really doesn't last very long with them especially if you just throw it from your hand like that he really doesn't last long so don't hang around uh, get some traps set up and try and get him to walk into them um, weirdly the AI doesn't go in my face. I'm trying to do a trap and I realise I don't actually have any salt uh, but he's got the salt covered now which is a problem uh, I'm trying to lure him round to this trap these traps here but he's going to have none of it you can just see him kind of just stood there firing at the floor for no reason whatsoever I have no idea what he's doing um, I don't think he's coming so he's open anyway so uh, yeah, there we go. You hit that thing on the back, it does major damage. So uh, yeah, get, try and get around the back, and then he's gone. I didn't actually get what he was. Uh, he had in his he just disappeared. Uh, he does have the crank gun, but I'm gonna leave it because uh, we are fighting from a distance, and it's no good. So this is the room you may recognise from before. There is a safe in here. Uh, we do have enough at this point for um, Elizabeth to open it up and us be. Safe. Huh, get it. <laughs> um, you're not going to run out. You should have a six or so left. If you are low on them for any reason, then don't do that safe. It is just money. Um, money is, you can get that from anywhere. You don't want to get stuck without any lock picks. Right, here's the lift. We are nearly out of here. We're going back to Sh Soldier's Field now. A um, couple of collectibles we can get now. Uh, that we couldn't get before they are in the uh, in the shops here the, there's one in the toy shop which we're going to go and head to first at the back corner there's also one in that uh, that building on the left that's kind of stood on its own uh, we'll get that in a minute motorized patriot get familiar with him he's really going to help in this fight that's coming up this is pretty uh, a pretty big fight um, but it, it's not too difficult, there are quite a lot, the problem with the fight is the rocket launcher guys, they're so tough and they hit so hard, um, 
Yeah, you don't want to get stuck. Luckily, they are up in the air, and you can sort of move out of their way if you need to. Uh, this is quite a good um, thing. I'm going to swap. I'm actually going to use this one. Uh, killing with it, uh, excessive damage uh, will stun nearby enemies. You do that quite often without actually noticing. So if an enemy is on low health and you hit him with a, a carbine bullet and it does sort of half health, then that is ex ex excessive damage. Uh, and all the enemies around them will get shocked. Um, it's kind of a passive thing, you just kind of not notice, uh, but it really, really helps uh, to slow all the enemies around this certain enemy. Um, it's definitely one that um, you want to keep around for now. If you have something better, obviously choose that anyway. But it is one of the better ones. We're going to go up here, and there's another shock jockey uh, key, whatever you want to call it. Some good stuff in here. There's something that went down in here, that's for sure. Pistol, never going to pick one of those up again, unless it's an emergency. I will just pick the box phone up first here, um, just so it's playing while I pick all the stuff up. Melee kills give health, I mean, no. <laughs> I'm not going near anyone, so I don't need that one. Uh, obviously take them all, there's no harm in taking them. There's literally no reason to leave them behind. Um, yeah, make sure to grab that lockpick as well. And then uh, it's time for the fight. So there is salt and things up here. If you need to come back, you can go back in that room. Uh, if you need to uh, just rest for a moment. So I'm going to shock that, and then we're going to call the gondola. We're going to run back. No, we're not going to jump. <laughs> we're going to run back to where that Patriot was. And then we're going to activate him. I tried to hit him as I'm coming up there, but uh, it's not going to work. I want to do it from up here. There is a turret there. Uh, had I have just waited a moment, I could have done it. Uh, but it, you can't activate it because there's kind of a story thing going at the moment. So I'm just going to wait down here with him. And there we go. And then we're going to go back up. And there's going to be some gondolas coming in with enemies on it. Uh, later on, gondolas with enemies are really easy once we have another Vigor uh, undertow, because you can just push them off it, <laughs> uh, and they just become no problem at all. So I'm taking this elevated um, kind of lookout for now. There is a turret next to me, um, and there is a wall. Uh, there's a turret to the left, and there's a wall to the right. Uh, one of the gondolas will potentially sit to your right, so be, be prepared to, uh, to bring that wall up if you need to. Uh, the Patriot's going to help out at the bottom, uh, and then you may need to switch with the wall, um, just so the rockets don't hit you, basically. Um, but yeah, switching back and forth, you can only have one um, tear open at a time, so you're going to have to manage them well, and then there is the cooldown as well. Uh, you will get rushed up here eventually. The guys are going to come up on the skyline. You'll see them there. They are. I think they're coming up now. Uh, so you switch back to your carbine or whatever you have. This is secondary. Um, and uh, try and get rid of them. When things do get too much, uh, and once you've thinned out the, sort of the ground troops, these guys, uh, you can jump back down. Uh, get that Patriot up again. And, um, and finish off the rocket guys. There will be a Patriot of their own as well. But uh, he won't be a problem. There is health as well, so don't worry about health being a thing. Yeah, you're gonna be. Uh, you're gonna be sneaking up. If you if you're getting close like that, you can use possession as well. We're getting mobbed up here. It might be time to leave. So here we go. Then we're gonna get our patriot back and hide behind here. He's gonna finish off any ground troops. Uh, he's actually going to give us the uh, the vigorous opposition trophy now as well. There we go. So that's uh, actually why did we get the vigorous operate? That's not the trophy I was thinking of. Why did we get that then? <laughs> I wasn't using the vigor. That's weird. I don't know why I got that one. Oh, the rocket guy. Yes, I knew it was somebody I had control of. I forgot I got the rocket guy. Yeah, he's putting in work as well. So that'll be him. 
and then there's a just snipe the rest really and then eventually from uh, where the switch is a, uh, a patriot will turn up and uh, obviously you have your own patriot so <laughs> he's going to make short work of it especially if you're uh, sticking a load of damage into it as well not the easiest guys to hit up here you can see that was an excessive damage kill then electricity was there. Yeah, they're not easy to kill these ones. He's not dead. It's just his helmet has uh, popped off there. So we will need to finish him. And there's the Patriot. Once it turns up, just concentrate on that. Unload. There we go in two seconds. And uh, there we go. That is the, the final fight. I remember this being quite difficult the first time I ever played this back in 2013 or whenever it was. Um, I remember this fight being quite difficult but managed this way uh, it didn't seem so. It's probably because we have these extra infusions from the season pass. Maybe that is what it is that's pushing it over. Uh, I'm going to switch to the shotgun for a while because there are some close up enemies coming up. But we're pretty much done. Um, we're just going to do this gondola ride. Uh, Elizabeth's going to open this up and then I'm going to skip the ride because it is quite long uh, but there is a, a bit of exposition and etc. Here's lockpick, make sure to grab that so we're getting out of here and then at the top there's going to be uh, three or four guys in a room so we're nearly there with coins in the cushion as well So just final push, get that look in those bins. Uh, I will be getting it in a minute. I think I, I see that I've got uh, 199, so I, I make sure to get it now. So get rid of these. That was an excessive kill as well. So it does come in handy, especially if you're being mobbed. The carbine, sniper rifle, things like that will do it a lot. So at the back there you can see that uh, kinetoscope you may underneath the, the lift here. You can see it there in the background. Uh, that's the one we saw before. Um, so you don't need to get that one. So the upgrades in these machines are ones we've already seen. There's nothing new. We will get new ones later on. Um, but there's nothing new in these ones. So if you're not using those vigors, don't worry about it. Obviously don't uh, use this machine or don't purchase anything from it at the, the very least. I mean, there's no reason to, to go near it. So just leave it. Uh, you don't want to lock yourself out of that trophy at this point. Coins in the cushion. We're nearly done there. I'm looking for bins now. Is there anything I can open? There we go in there. There's one on the other side as well. And there we go. That one's going to be the final one, I think. This one here. Yep, done. So, don't worry if you don't get it there. Uh, there, here we go, I'm just showing you. This is the extra one. You don't need that one. The city mourns. Uh, you've already got that one. Uh, yeah, if you don't have coins in the cushion now, don't worry about it. You will get it. It's just one of those ones you can't miss. So, looks like we're so take this lift up now. We're going to get into the airship and we're going to leave. Uh, just before you do, there is one more infusion. You can see it in the top corner there. Uh, make sure you go to the right-hand side. Don't go and pull the, the lever. Uh, once you do that, you're locked out of this one. So make sure to get that. And then, yeah, go and uh, interact with the controls and move on. And you'll get the first class ticket trophy as well um, I'm gonna leave the video here you're gonna just see me bring up the uh, the Vox phones you should have there are only four so <laughs> not much to do on this one but yeah pull the lever uh, and then I will start the next video at Finkton Docks there's quite a lot of story and uh, cutscenes but I'm gonna cut all that out uh, and the next video will start at Finkton Docks so uh, yeah right thanks very much for watching thanks. I'll see you on the next one You all right? I want to see Paris. 
I want to see everything. It's up to you now. There's no one. Wait, what is that? 40 north by 74 west. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs> 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 <laughs>